What's up everybody, JC with Stoner Car Care. Today we are talking all about our brand new waterless car wash. Let's get into the details of why you wanna use this product. So if at all possible, we always recommend using a normal car wash. Again, water, lots of suds. That's gonna give you the least amount of friction and abrasion on your paint surface. But sometimes you're in a spot where you just don't have access to water. So if you're in one of those environments where you have kind of water restrictions, you live in an apartment building where it's kind of hard or complex or a pain in the butt uh, to get a bucket and a hose to where your car is, this product is great for you. Think um, car lots, things like that with lots of cars there. There's a great opportunity to use this and still have a very safe and effective car wash on that clear coat so you're not destroying it. So we actually developed this product for pros first. Um, and we've been using this for a while with some great feedback. We actually found that we were using it so much, we decided we're actually gonna roll this out for the, for the open public, for the consumer, for everybody. Um, but for today's demonstration, we're gonna show you how it uses um, most of the time for the pro market. So we have our, our gallon bottle. Again, this will be uh, available in the gallon, in a pail and trigger bottles as well. Um, but one of the things that we like to recommend is, is getting a good amount of product on the surface to help encapsulate that little bit of dirt that you have on your car. So we're gonna use our, uh, our favorite IK sprayer um, and some high pile microfiber towels to properly do this waterless job. All right, so we're lucky enough today to be working on this beautiful Dodge Viper. Luckily, we know the history of this. We know how it's been stored. As you can see, there's very um, a very kind of even coating of dust in here, but we know there's no kind of bird droppings or super aggressive scratchy stains. There's no mud on the trim. If you have any of those heavy soils, this product is not for you. We do not want those hard abrasives rubbing around in your clear coat. That's, that's no bueno. This is... Um, very light dirt, so this is a very good opportunity for this product. Um, and now that we've changed the correct non-foaming tip on our IK sprayer, we're gonna start using this product. Again, because all of the lubrication comes from the product itself, we don't have your soft wash, we don't have the big bubbles from the, the Moab or your, your car shampoo, um, you don't have the water washing away this debris, everything has to come from the product. So use this liberally, you're gonna wanna coat this surface, so we're gonna be working on this blue corner. Apply this liberally. You wanna let that product kind of encapsulate the dirt that we're working on and give it a minute. Um, by the way, uh, we're gonna have you guys guess what it smells like. All I can tell you is it's glorious. It smells great. But anyway, give it a minute to let the surfactants kind of encapsulate that dirt. Um, and then we're gonna show you a quick technique on how to use a microfiber to um, safely remove uh, whatever dirt is left on the surface. So before we get to wiping, I will point out, we're kind of working on this section here just for the video. You can use this for your whole car. This is safe on every exterior surface. And when you're doing this, again, because there are some things dripping um, or potentially dripping, Use the same format. I mean, start at the top of your car, work down. That still applies for the video world. We're, we're, we're doing the section that's easier to, easier to use. And again, don't let this dry on your surface with, like with most, most chemicals. When you're applying with it, get that off before it dries. It just makes everything better. So as we start wiping, uh, some of you may have seen this, some of you may have not. We always recommend using a high pile microfiber to wipe. Again, what that's gonna do is give you the safest possible result um, lots of depth and thickness in that microfiber pile to hold the dirt away from your clear coat. That's, that's the whole purpose. So when you're wiping this basically without water to rinse everything away, you wanna try to keep that dirt away from your clear coat. And the best way to do that is the peel method. So we have this microfiber quartered and what you wanna try to imagine is if you put your hand on this and start wiping around gently, you're gonna basically have the inverse of my handprint dirty and everything else is relatively clean because that pressure is gonna be somewhat concentrated to where my hand is. What we want is to use this entire surface to pick up dirt along the way. So you're gonna kind of start with the leading edge and as you move the microfiber, you're basically gonna roll it or peel it up 
so that you're exposing fresh, new, clean microfiber fibers to the dirt as you go along. That's gonna give you the least amount of dirt rubbing on clear coat. That's how you're gonna keep this looking great in the long term. To, to help illustrate how this is working, we're gonna go diagonally across here so you can see the front and the, the side view of this. But as you start, kind of the pressure is gonna be on this leading edge. And basically I walk this along and as I'm moving, I'm exposing that new surface so that you have that, this whole sheet is relatively evenly wet and you can see like the dirt has gone along the entire surface. And so that pulled along the whole way there. And you basically keep doing that with your, your clean towel until the sides get dirty. It's already quartered so you keep exposing new surfaces. That's the best way to use this product. And then at the very end, we'll hit this kind of damp part that's already been cleaned with a fresh microfiber to do the final buff. So again, as you're doing this, as you're peeling, you're letting the microfiber and the chemical do the majority of the work. Uh, light pressure is always best. Keep exposing fresh and clean sides of your microfiber. Again, since we don't have water, the chemical is doing the work and your towel, your microfiber towel is essentially your water bucket. So keep it clean. You might go through several of these to do a whole car. So the final step after you've wiped off that dirt, you've taken off the waterless wash with it, the final step is to do a buff with another dry microfiber. The great thing about this product, there is some shine and protection agents already built in that formulation. So as you do this final buff step, simply do this like you're, you know, buffing to a shine on a, on a detailer um, and you have a great uh, shine and kind of few week protection durability um, on your paint in the same step. This product works great as a drying aid. So if you are washing your car traditionally beforehand, you can apply this almost like a quick detailer does the same thing. It'll help break that water tension. And then again, simply just buff to a dry finish. So as you can see within a few minutes, a few microfiber towels, we brought this car back from looking dusty, dingy, garage kept uh, to looking pretty solid in a few minutes. So again, if you have problems with access to water, if you have um, inconvenience of getting that bucket wash system down in your garage, your apartment complex, this is a great product for you. In no way is this replacing that bucket traditional wash completely, but in, in those binds, it's a great way to keep your car clean and protected in between deep cleans and washes. So if you're interested in this product and think it can solve a problem for you, check out stonercarco.com or for bulk sizes, check out our pro website. Thanks for waterless washing. We'll see you in the next one.